early on the first day of the week while it was still dark. Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb and I don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked inside, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him, and John said, I got here first. Okay, fine, you won. But nobody is around. Who will ever know? Everyone will know. I'll write it in my gospel. Hmm, something must be wrong with my script. I don't remember reading that in the Bible. Well, let's see. Where were we? Oh, yes, here we go. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Woman, why are you crying? They have taken away my Lord and I don't know where to write him. Woman, why are you crying? So, where have you put the body? Mary! Raboni! Do not cling on to me now, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. Instead, go and tell my brothers that I am ascending to my Father, to your Father, to my God, and to your God. Go! Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Good morning and a happy Resurrection Sunday. On this most wonderful of all days of the year, the traditional greeting is, He is risen! And the answer is given, He is, he is risen indeed! It is fitting that a woman be the first to greet you on this day. Because as we have just seen, on the day of Jesus' resurrection, a woman named Mary was the first to see Jesus, to recognize him, to worship him, and to go and proclaim him to others. I am so grateful that you've chosen to join us for today's service. And it is my earnest desire that during your time with us, you would see Jesus clearly. You would recognize him for who he wants to be, the Lord of your life, that you would worship him in spirit and in truth. And then in the end, you would go and proclaim him to others. And with that, we want to welcome you to the Resurrection Sunday service.